guys, how are you doing? I hope you are having a good day. And if not, well then maybe this video can distract you for the next five to 10 minutes or so and lift your mood up just a little bit. And if not, at least I can say I tried, I did my best. I just hope you guys enjoy the video. Anyway, speaking of videos, if you've not seen my last one yet, I strongly advise you go check it out. It was a lot of fun to make. It was also very, very funny. And yes, Steve, I think that this time you did actually make the video. He says that a lot, that he thinks he makes these videos because he's so fucking hilarious. <laughs> Fuck off, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, him and Jake were great in this video, so thank you to those two for being in it. If you have seen it, then you'll know all about that, and you'll know that I ended it back in this spot. I'm no longer in Southampton with them. I am back in good old freezing cold fucking Cornwall, and oh my god, was it fucking cold when I came back. Jesus! But I have been home for a few days now, and to be honest with you guys, I haven't done a whole lot in those days. In fact, all I've really done is sit in the same spot, wear the same clothes, and play the Xbox. Today, though, I got up, freshly shaved my head, shaved my beard, threw on some fresh clothes, and I wanted to film, and that is exactly what we are doing today. We are filming, and I want to start off by showing you guys some changes that I came home to. But, 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 before I do that, I want to go and say hi to a couple of friends, and... Before I do that, I want to apologize for this lighting. It's fucking dreadful right now, I know. Anyway, on to the friends. What do you guys think to the hat? Can I pull it off? I, I kind of like it, you know? It's another one for me to add to my collection. <laughs> Why are they so snuggled? <clears throat> See that, Steve? They're siblings that cuddle together. And yet the whole time you're here, you're complaining you're cold, you won't come and jump in a bed with me. What the fuck? Gay! You know, boy. You know, from Benny. You know. Is that Mrs. Lillips? Oh, she's Sick it. Such a bunny ear, man. Oh my gosh, but sick it. Bunny worm! Ah, oh, shit! Bunny worm! It's raining, hey! Hallelujah, it's raining! I, I, I can't do that in tune. Say flips, say flips. That looks a bit bad, doesn't it? Eh? You're cuddled up in the warm now, yeah? Right. What are you sniffing at me for? What are you sniffing me for? You know. Right, I'll leave them to chill for a bit. So change numero uno, which is one, is this bastard, the washing machine. Admittedly, this isn't a change I came home to. Before I left for Southampton, the damn thing packed it in so it no longer works. Which means for my washing, I'm currently either relying on my mum to uh, do it in the sink, which takes a lot of fucking time, but I'm grateful for that. Or my big sister, Steph, who the other day took a load of my underwear around to hers to wash in her machine. But I didn't say the other day, thank you, Steph, because I just, I didn't, I don't want to go commando again. It's too cold for that, you know, it's, I mean... You know what cold does. I'm, I'm not going anymore into it. Change numero dos is this, the fucking boiler. Now, I don't know specifically what happened, but while I was in Southampton, that thing stopped generating heat throughout the house, which means now I feel like I'm living in a fucking igloo all the time. I mean, I've got three layers on today. I had like, I've had four layers on for the past couple of days. I, I don't know what's going on with it, but you know what? It's not a massive problem. I can put on more clothes. We also have this open fire down here. So when it does get kind of colder in the evenings, we light that up, sit in the warmth and watch a little bit of TV. And the third and final change. Well, when I came back, like I said, the boiler broke. So I have to, have to get to the open fire, which was behind the sofa. Please ignore all this mess here. This is all stuff that was under my bed. As you can see, my bed is no longer over here. We have the sofa there, which means my bed is now... Wait a minute, where the fuck is my bed? My bed is gone. So I've been on the pullout sofa for the past few days and I think I'm gonna be on that for the foreseeable future. I'm not mad about this though because it is actually a double bed. Now I'm not complaining about having a single bed beforehand because I know there are lots of people out there who just don't have any bed and I'm very grateful to have even a single bed but I'm a big guy unfortunately not a tall guy I'm a big guy and while I was at uni live uh, you know in a double bed for the first time coming back to a single bed I wasn't a massive fan of it I prefer a double bed it gives me more room to just you know stretch out gives me more room to have my laptop right next to my bed if I want to watch anything so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy with this. 12 seconds later. Comment down below which one you want to see the best. For something we haven't done in a while, I decided to come to the cinema. This one, one thing I wanted to show for a little while now is this. These, these are the best cinema snacks. Yeah, I've got two for me, two boxes for mum, and a box over there for Joe and a small box of popcorn. And this is why we don't come anymore, because <laughs> it's fucking expensive. But I, I, don't, I want to be able to buy those somewhere, but... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'll come back after the film. 
So we just finished up watching The Greatest Showman and I've got to be honest, considering I've only really seen Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine or Logan from the X-Men, I really enjoyed watching him play another character. Honestly, this film I think is amazing. Like, I want to say it's one of my favourite films of the year, but we are only in January, so we've still got 12 months to go, I guess. If you haven't seen it, I would strongly recommend it. I mean, there's a lot more singing in it than what I thought there was. To be honest, I didn't know too much about it going into it. I just heard it was an okay film. I heard it was a good film. But yeah, like I said, I think it's an amazing film. Uh. Okay, so fortunately, I've now got to do this clip at home because the clip I recorded at the cinema didn't fucking record. So Joe, uh. Greatest Showman, thoughts, comments? Concerns? Yeah, it was good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I, really, I think it's going to be one of the best films of the year. But then again, like I said, it is only January. What do you think? Going to be one of the better films of the year? Or are you going to wait to make your prediction? I'll wait, because you know Black Panther comes out next month. True, but different style of film. Alright, that's Joe's thing. She really liked the film. I'll get Mum's views uh, a little bit later on when she comes home. Mother, Greatest Showman, your views. Yeah, very good. Really yeah. enjoyed it. Nice. Yeah, a lot better than I thought. So. Yeah. You said that Hugh Jackman's done that kind of stuff before though as well, didn't you? Like, yes, yeah, that's what he started doing. Stage shows and stuff before he went to be a proper actor, as you call it. See, so learned shit new after. I didn't even know that. Like I said, I only knew him in like X-Men and Logan and that. Yeah. But... Yeah, no, he did lots of stage shows and musicals before theatre. Yeah, and singing-wise, if that is actually him, which you said you reckon it is him. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, he can sing. Yeah, he's fucking good. So yeah. shit. That was Zach Efron as well, though. Zach Efron was very good. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, I mean, that's it. Everyone he was knows. Better than I expected. Yeah, well. everyone knows he can sing. I completely forgot he was even in the film, but yeah, I mean, I was really happy with it. So mum yeah, really liked it. Yeah. Joe liked it as well. So uh, yeah, that is it. All right, guys. So that is everyone's view on the film. And like I said, I would strongly recommend you go check it out because it is a really good movie. But this is also where I'm going to end today's vlog. So if you've enjoyed it, please go ahead and hit that like button. And while you're there doing that, why not hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you didn't like it, fuck off. No, leave a comment tell me what you didn't like and what you think I can do to make it better in the future. I'm going to be back in a few days with another one of these. So just remember, you are the most important person in your life. So live it with no regrets. Peace out. Thank you.